It was a busy day on the diamond in Statesboro, Georgia Southern baseball and softball in action Sunday afternoon. Beginning with baseball, the Eagles going for the series sweep over the Towson Tigers at J.I. Clements Stadium. Fourth inning, Eagles facing Tiger lefty Austin Weber down 4-3. Noah Ledford with the big swing. That ball into the gap. Good for a double. Scores a pair to retake the lead. Eagles up 5-4. Top of the six, tied up at five, Tigers Brandon Austin off Eagles freshman Jalen Payton. Outfielder Mason McCorder chases it down. How about this throw to catcher Matt Anderson? In time for the tag out, Eagles get out of the inning and look to retake the lead. Bottom of the seventh, still knotted up. Wild pitch by Tigers Andalo Santangelo. Eagles Jason Swan steps on the gas from third and slides home. Georgia Southern goes up 6-5, and that would be the final. Next up, Georgia Southern will host the Georgia Bulldogs on Tuesday. First pitch set for 5 p.m. Swinging over to Eagle Field, Georgia Southern closing out their annual Eagle Round Robin tournament against the College of Charleston Cougars. Jumping to the bottom of the third, one on for the Eagles. Infielder Bailey Wilson launches to center field. That's over the fence. Wilson's first home run of the season. Teammate Maddie Banks comes home. Wilson. Making her way around, Georgia Southern takes a 2-0 lead. Going to the top of the fifth now, Eagles Aliyah Garcia in the circle. With just two outs, Cougars Lauren Lozano cracks one to the left field. And that ball is out of here. The solo shock, it's called to Charleston on the board. Georgia Southern's lead, cut to one. Top of the six, Garcia gets Cougars Mia Ditto to pop up. The outfielder Shelby Barfield there for the Eagles. Gets the out, Garcia tossing a complete game, lifting the Eagles to a 2-1 win over the College of Charleston. Next up, the Eagles face South Carolina on the road. First pitch set for 6 p.m. Wednesday. And sticking with the Gamecocks, South Carolina women's basketball, SEC champions once again. The team battled the Georgia Bulldogs in the SEC championship game to win 67-62. And how about this? The win marking the program's sixth SEC tournament title in seven years. And that's a look at sports. We'll be right back.